Good afternoon, international friends. Everyone listening on Facebook, LinkedIn, onwards wisdom to share with you guys from page number 85 in the Dafyomi. That is page number pay hey, respectively in Hebrew. So there's a case scenario, friends. What's going on over here? So there is a man of the name, name Rabbi Measha, uh, and someone has deposited with him seven a sheet of seven lavish pearls, very valuable pearls, and uh, it's in his possession, and he suddenly passes away. And uh, the children, his inheritors, see this, and they claim, look, this is ours. It was left with uh, our father, it's in his possession, it's ours. However, no, the original lender, the person that gave it to him in his uh, deposit, came and said, no, these are mine. And this man was able to describe exactly what the items were, the pearls were, and uh, fittingly. So he took the case to a rabbi of the name Rabbi Ami, respectively in the Talmud, and Rabbi Ami said, no, it's going to go to the lenders originally, the person that deposited it to Rabbi Miesha. It's not going to go to the children. It's going to go to them. Why is this? Because there are two reasons. He was able to describe exactly what the items look like, the, uh, uh, gave a fitting description. Another reason is that he knew that Rabbi Miesha wasn't a man of means. He wasn't a man that would have these seven pearls. He, he knew very well. So because of those two reasons, that he was able to distinguish and was able to judge that it's going to go to the original owners. And the Gemara brings two similar cases to this to make up three uh, comparable cases when each time uh, Rabbi Ami will pass in this way. The uh, Rashi and Tosfot, these two commentators from the Talmud, actually says that if there was only one reason and not both the reasons, then it will go to the inheritors uh, at the end if that would have been the case. But in this case, it was two reasons he was able to provide. And because of that, it went back to the original lender. The inheritors couldn't claim it. Guys, today's Tom Gedalia, and it's a fast day. I've been fasting for about 15 hours, there's a few more hours to go. And Bez Hashem will all be judged in the Sefet Sadikim this Rosh Hashanah. Guys, have a fantastic day. Bye.